In this video, we present our robust spectral clustering method for noisy data. We show that modeling corruptions leads to an improved latent embedding, which in turn leads to better clustering. Spectral clustering is one of the most popular clustering algorithms and has been applied with great success across many domains. In general, given an input graph, which could represent similarity within instances, spectral clustering embeds the instances into a feature space by considering the eigenvalues of the graph's Laplacian. While spectral clustering is highly powerful, one of its biggest limitations is its sensitivity to noise and corrupted data. Intuitively, if we have a corrupted graph as input, the spectral embedding we obtain will be distorted and the underlying clustering will be obfuscated. The core idea to robustify spectral clustering is that the observed data is not perfect, but rather corrupted by errors. Thus, instead of operating on the original graph, as standard spectral clustering is doing, we assume the graph to be decomposed in two latent factors, the clean data and the corruptions. The main question, of course, is how to find this decomposition. Towards this end, we propose two core ideas. First, we assume that the corruptions are relatively rare. If they were not, then the majority of the data is corrupted and reasonable clustering structure cannot be expected. Technically, we model this as L0 sparsity constraints on the corruptions. Second, we let the decomposition be seen by the actual clustering process. This means we aim to find a clean graph that optimizes the spectral clustering objective, or in other words, a clean graph that minimizes the sum of smallest eigenvalues of its Laplacian. In summary, the spectral clustering now performed on the clean graph and the decomposition are learned jointly, thereby revealing the clustering structure that was obfuscated by the corruptions. Algorithmically, we solve this problem by an alternating optimization procedure that combines principles of eigenvalue perturbation with the multidimensional knapsack problem. Given the similarity graph extracted from the input data, we optimize the embedding and the detected corruptions alternatingly until convergence. The full algorithm ensures linear runtime complexity in the number of edges, enabling us to easily handle large-scale graphs. Using our approach, we are able to get up to 32% improvement in the clustering performance compared to spectral clustering as measured by the NMI score. Finally, we demonstrate our approach with a small experiment. On the left, we see the embedding obtained by standard spectral clustering. On the right, the embedding obtained by our approach. The data points are colored according to the two ground truth clusters. We can see, when no corruptions were removed, the two clusters are not easily separable. However, if we allow our method to detect and remove more and more corruptions, the two clusters are starting to emerge. This is also reflected in the NMI scores. Once we remove enough corruptions, the clusters become easily separable. For more details, please check out our paper.